Hi, Trev here from Trev's Bees. Today's little session I want to talk about oxalic acid treatment and particularly with how I treat bee swarms that I've caught. Sitting beside me here I have two colonies that I caught about four, th four to five days ago. Both queens are laying, both queens uh, looking good and they've both got about five plus frames of bees on. So what I'm going to do is I want to treat both of these colonies with oxalic acid. Any varroa that's on those bees will be on the bees themselves because there is no capped brood at all. It is all open brood. And so we'll just go through what I've got here as part of my setup. All my oxalic gear comes in this little bucket. I have a 12 volt battery which I picked up from the car wreckers for $10. Just asking for a battery and you just check in the head of it here to see that it's green and as long as it's showing green not yellow or red. So the next thing is we have the oxalic vaporizing iron. In this case I get mine from Venom Pro. A little bit dearer than some of the others that are available, but I find that this one has a very consistent burn temperature and it burns very well or vaporizes very well. And I've written on here, just for my guidance, that one gram, which is a five frame nuke box, shall take two minutes to, to do, two grams, which is a 10 frame hive will take two minutes 15 and three grams for a double brood box takes three minutes. So this is the oxalic acid and the other thing to get my timing I carry a stopwatch. A little word of warning here. This stuff in its state is very safe. You're not going to get hurt with it. However, once you vaporize it the fumes are very toxic. They are not very nice. Doesn't harm the bees at all. In fact, you hardly even get any bees come out of the box. They're not really worried about it. But we can actually taste it in the atmosphere. So on a windy day like today, not too bad. Once I put it in, I just move out of the, out of the way, let it do its treatment, and then I'll come back and get into it for the next uh, the next hive. Okay. So this is what we do, we've got a couple of teaspoons in here, one's a half teaspoon and one's a quarter teaspoon, we only need to do a quarter teaspoon. Okay, so we'll put one gram in there, I pat it down so it's all pretty even, put the iron in. Connect it up to the battery, press the stopwatch, and I've just gone and changed something, that's it, and now we wait for that to burn for two minutes. Notice the bees are still acting pretty normal, that's a half a minute gone, the iron's just heating up, nothing really happening in there at this stage. It doesn't matter which way round you connect the battery terminals. I try and put them on the right way round, but it doesn't really matter. The circuit goes in, comes out, as long as it, uh, the both terminals are connected to the other terminals, it's all okay. Okay, this colony's very strong. It's probably got about equivalent eight frames of bees in here. She's pretty tightly packed, so this is why this one's got a few extra bees around the entrance. Just starting to get the va uh, oxalic vapors coming out now, but the bees are still acting completely normally. Okay. 
Okay, well that's it with that one as well. We've done the two minutes. Dish all completely clean. Okay, well that's it from Cruise Bees. Just showing you how to oxalic vaporize a colony swarm that we've caught three or four days ago. So we'll uh, see you around on YouTube, catching a beehive, catch you out swarming.